Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a kit in 148 scale and it comes as a weekend edition. It's Z52 uh, 6 AFS Acrobat, so it's a Czech acrobatic aircraft in a popular scale and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to check it closer in this video because uh, this release might be a good chance or opportunity for some others to get a nice plastic for a bit more affordable price and the main difference of the weekend edition is that we do not get any bonuses in form of masks or uh, PE but for some others this is more than okay let's say and uh, I have to note that the box art on this release is really beautiful I wonder if it will be released also as a separate poster here you can see comparison with my hand I would say it's a typical size for Edward kits in 148 scale here we have also some information about the model itself and also four marking options which are included into this kit and they're quite colorful so we will talk a bit more about them when we will be checking the assembly manual box is uh, top opening and here is what we have inside there is plenty of space so I really doubt that any parts will be damaged during shipment and now I'm just going to open the first plastic bag with a clear plastic frame and we will take a closer look together so here we have obviously some canopy parts and just give me a second to place it here let's zoom in as much as we can maybe open the lenses a bit so these are the canopy parts and obviously with these parts you can also assemble the open cockpit and i think the main feature is that they will clear and crisp so it's just a matter of careful installation again i remind you that there are no masks included into this kit so in case you would like to uh, paint them properly you will have to find uh, mask set aftermarket one from Edward or you have to cut them with your own hands and tools it's up to you which approach you choose because some others are quite proficient in making their own masks that's why they are not bothered by exclusion of the masks in the standard package and here you can take a closer look at this part so as I said they were great it's on par with all recent releases from Edward and it's just a matter of careful assembly of these parts on the fuselage Next, I'm opening a second gray plastic uh, spruce. They come in the separate bag and we have three spruce here. So, first of all, we are going to start with the smallest one. This one is specific for a one-seater because here we get new cockpit panels. You can see them here and also we get uh, cockpit four. We have some mechanization parts and everything looks fine. Even here you can see the instrument panel. Maybe I think we can zoom in even closer so that you can take a even closer look. I like the molding quality here so all the parts will clear and crisp and there is no problem with the uh, molding whatsoever so we don't have any flash or sink marks and this is just a matter of careful separation and you can see with your own eyes that attachment points are quite thin so it shouldn't be problematic to get this part of the frame next we continue with the sprue which is lettered as E so here we have also mix of parts and this one is dedicated to the cooling parts for example here and obviously cooling will be glued out of two halves and note that the front section is coming as a separate part we have also pilot seat here some parts for the main wheel wells because we also get in the large parts which will be holding wings in place but I suggest we zoom in again so that you can see all these parts closer and do not be fooled by the scale because for example these cockpit parts are quite tiny here is comparison with my fingertip next we continue with elevators and rudder some landing gear parts here we have bulkheads for the front for the nose area and note that this kit does not include an engine as far as I remember you can get it as a separate brushing set but here out of the box you won't receive it and the same applies to the cockpit so basically you can upgrade the cockpit by getting the separate uh, brushing set but it will involve some extra investment so if you're ready that might be a good thing to spend your money on next we continue with the last gray plastic spruce so here we have fuselage halves which are molded together with a tail fin 
Each wing side should be glued out of two halves. As you can see, wing mechanization is separate. And if I zoom in here, you can check the external features on the fuselage part. So we have really nice uh, fabric surface imitation. We have also recessed panel lines and rivets. And the same applies to the wing part. So here you can take a closer look at them. And if I flip them over, here we have some guiding elements. So it will help you with alignment of all the parts together. And here is the same story. So do not be worried about the overall design because it looks like Edward engineers uh, thought through how the whole aircraft will be assembled. So you get all the necessary elements for the proper connection of these elements together. And now I'm opening another plastic bag. So I will leave this sprue on the table for now because here we have the decal sheets. And yes, there are actually several of them three to be precise and this is quite surprising because frankly speaking in a weekend edition I'm used to see just few decal sheets but not in this one because we are going to start with the smallest decal sheet and just give me a second to take it into my hands here we have metallic decals which look quite good obviously they are printed in Edward so as you can see they look fine it's just a matter of careful application on your model. Let's zoom in maybe a bit. I'll remove the sprue. And we move to the second decal sheet. This one is dedicated to stencils. So this one is a bit bigger as you can notice. And still all these writings are readable. In a 148 scale I think this is quite important feature. And decals from Edward are easy to work with. So I'm not even worried about it. But I can see quite an interesting feature on the next one. So third decal sheet is the biggest one. And here we have mix of various decals for four marking options. So I will place it like this and maybe zoom out a bit. Here you can see it. We have all these checkers. Obviously professional modelers can replicate it with masks. It's up to you. But it's good that Edward also supplies it as a decals. But what really surprises me is this. So if we zoom in here we have various seat belts. We have several types of the instrument panel. So cockpit out of the box should look pretty much detailed. I mean if you are not a fan of the P parts, this might be a good opportunity to get at least something in your cockpit. And this is coming in a standard package, so you don't have to pay anything extra here. Next we continue with assembly manual, so this one comes in form of large color printed brochure. I will have to zoom out a bit so that it will fit into the frame. And here on the first page we have a short history note about the aircraft. Then we continue with the parts map. Note that a lot of parts on the clear sprue will not be used because they are actually designed for a double seater. And assembly process starts with the fuselage halves and cockpit walls. Then we continue with the cockpit floor and gradually start installing all the internal elements. But here suddenly we switch to the you know, wing parts. So as you remember we have separate main wheel wells as well as the wing mechanization. Then we install this uh, large spar. It will be holding actually both wings from both sides. And also we have external fuel tanks which can be chosen as a wing edge installations but it's up to you whether you would like to have them on your build because there are also just a plain ends of the wing here we assemble the front cowling as you can see there are some different parts depending on the marking options so pay attention to this pilot seat it gets installed into the finished uh, fuselage then we continue with landing gear we assemble the rear landing gear wheel together with the leg and here we work on the canopy so you can as i said before you can open or close the canopy if you would prefer first marking option comes from czech republic 2022 it's quite fresh one to be honest so maybe you will be able to find some reference photos this one is from czechoslovakia 1972-1975 and one more from Katowice, Poland, 2010-2018 and one more here is from Germany, 2009-2016 Okay, so I guess these are pretty much fresh marking options and it would be possible to find some reference material for even better uh, markings or maybe weathering 
Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. And if you like this video and you like the kit, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because you will help us greatly and you want me sending you video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.